Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Ringo TV Reactions. We're back at you again with another one. Give me a second while I go live on my other platform. Let me do this real quick. Okay, we should be live now on the Ringo TV Raw channel. So again, those of you that are coming into the building, we have an awesome show for you. So salute to everybody on the Ringo TV Raw channel, Ringo TV Reactions channel. So what is going on? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> Pastor P. Diddy Dow has threatened my life with death. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Say it ain't so. Oh, we got the receipts. Pastor P. Diddy Dow has sent forth a threat, a verbal threat of death. That's right. Because Ringo exposed his sin of adultery. So you know we're going to capitalize off of this one, right? You know, this is like 20 videos. <laughs> this is like a whole new, a whole new genre of content now. Pastor P. Diddy Dow threatened my life. He said it's on site. <laughs> my, didn't I tell you on my last video that they plotting to kill me? Didn't I tell you that? Well, he made that very clear. Right now, he got his um, straightway soldiers uh, in training and boot camp in Goshen. That's where the, uh, the training facilities is and, and so on and so forth. And he's vigorously training these men to see who is really true, like who is going to, I guess, fulfill the task at hand to take Ringo out in a military style operation. So we're going to talk about that. But uh, first, we got to go to the intro. So let's get into this thing, guys. Let's go. Yo, nigga, buy that paper. Ringo TV. Yo, nigga, buy that paper. Yo, nigga, buy that paper. Yo, nigga, buy that paper. Ringo TV. Yeah. True man, I'm free. I wake up a new episode. I pop out clean and skip me up a level, though. She talk to me like I'm not me. I get it, though. Yeah. I'm so eclectic, I'm me to the credits Roll talk down to me, they might have to send medical I'm out there, league, I'm OD, they pathetic Though, look how I move, I'm protected Shawty so soon in my presence The world going through it outside, they unruly But I keep it cool, they can't press me I keep it pure with intention They see what I'm on, ain't no vixen I might slide through with that top down I keep it tuned with a high power Put it on me, I'm blessed Young nigga blessed Big bag, manifest the sky, no stress Keep no evil around me, can't ground me I built it since when I had less no hex on God can't pause, nigga. Look at how far we progress. Whatever we doing, we keeping it fluid. I don't see a thing about that paper. On the jet, I done switch to the coast One of a kind, I've been playing that role They pay me to play me, I needed it for It's real if I said I meant what I spoke I'm legend, it's written, I shake up the city Spin block till I'm dizzy, won't ever go broke I'm chose, I must like the way that top down I keep in tune with a high power Put it on me, I'm blessed Young nigga blessed Big bag, manifest the sky, no stress Keep no evil around me, can't ground me I built it since when I had this No hex on God, can't pause Nigga, look at how far we progress Whatever we doing, we keeping it fluid. I don't see a thing about that paper.
you know, I'm just loving the fact that P. Diddy Dow just don't seem to understand social media. Now I have a receipt that will forever be used. Let's go to that receipt. Check it out. And if you're on the Ringo TV Raw channel, in order for you to see the receipts, you have to be on the Ringo TV Reactions channel to see that. We're streaming on two separate channels at the same time and doing what we got to do. So um, let me see what's going on. And, and thanks to, uh, to Sean for packing up that troll. Um, we don't got no time for that silliness, right? Now, Pastor P. Diddy Dow made a public terroristic threat at Ringo TV. So to the feds, I want this to be on notice that the pastor of Straight Way Ministries has made a public threat, terroristic threat, threatening my life for speaking the truth about his adultery. You know, I'm still trying to figure out how this guy can come to my platform. I don't post comments on his platform. I don't go to his platform to post comments. His comments are always turned off. But for some reason, he come to my platform to post a comment. Let's take a look at it and read it. It says, Pastor Dow commented, stay in New York. One day we will meet. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Say it ain't so. Hmm, no wonder you wanted a public debate. You were trying to kill me the whole time. Do you see how easy we were able to expose that? Now you all know why Pastor P. Diddy Dow wanted to have a public debate. He was training his men to take me out. Mm-hmm. That's what it was all about, y'all. Say it ain't so. The pastor who claimed he's of righteousness, of Yah, is full of evil and hatred because he's being exposed as an adulterer. What a shame. Say it ain't so. I mean, how do you escape this one? Check it out, y'all. He says, stay in New York. One day we will meet. Meet for what? Meet for what? What do you mean by one day we will meet? Oh, you want to kill me. <laughs> man, oh man. The feds are taking notes. So not only do you got military training operations going down in Goshen. All of these guys are armed with AR-15s and various assault rifles and high-powered ammunition, but you are making public threats because a man is exposing your sin? I thought you didn't sin. I thought you didn't do nothing wrong. Now you want to kill a man. Is that of Yah? <laughs> Is this the loving nature of Straightway? So let me get this straight. At Straightway, we specialize in making threats. I could just imagine what the people must be thinking right now. Man, oh man. Let's take a look at that comment again, guys. 
P. Diddy Dow made this public threat on social media after coming to my platform to make this comment. Check it out. It says, stay in New York. One day we will meet. And somebody said, don't come after his wife. <laughs> somebody else says, too much blue label giving you that liquid courage. Huh? Pharaoh Diddy Dow. <laughs> Shoshao says, Dow is an internet tough guy. This dude is talking like he is going to pull up and do something to somebody. You're a haughty fool. Someone else says, hide your kids. Hide your wives from low diddy down. <laughs> this is supposed to be the God-fearing man of straightway. The place where it's all about brotherly love. Now we got a receipt on you. Man. You're not smart. Screenshots taken all day. Now the people in the community on YouTube is going to be making videos about this. Pastor Dow threatens the life of Ringo. New video. <laughs> Pastor Diddy Dow threatens to kill Ringo TV for exposing his sin. New video coming at 10. Man. It sounds to me like your heart is filled with murder. That's a sin, according to the Bible. So you mean to tell me, I got your attention that much. <laughs> we gonna meet one day? <laughs> Do you know how the internet works? Do you not realize that there's a case being built up against you right now? I'm just playing my cards the right way. Because see, real men, let me give you some advice. Real men never tell people what they're doing. You never supposed to tell people in public because now you are a suspect. Now it's documented. It's not looking too good for you, sir. Isn't this wonderful? Check it out. In the video that I made recent, he pulled up into the comments real fast. Stay in New York. One day we will meet. The question the feds are going to want to know is meet for what? What do you mean by one day we will meet? Sir, what do you mean by one day you will meet with Ringo TV? Are you threatening to harm him? Are you threatening to kill him? Is that what you want? Is that your desire? P. Diddy Dow. Is that your desire? Sir. Is that what you're trying to do? Because that's exactly what it sounds like to me. All because you were caught in adultery. When are you going to repent? Are you going to repent, sir? Because I'm getting under your skin. See, my power is showing. I got you coming to my platform now, crying, making threats. Now I got the crowd of people as witnesses on both platforms that P. Diddy Dow made a public threat. He cannot handle the truth, y'all. <laughs> Never show your hand. Worst thing you can do as a man is to type out a comment like this. Worst thing you can do. That is the worst thing you can do as a man because all of the blogs are going to get this. Uh, the news media will get this. Uh, the TMZs, 
the uh, spiritual words. All we got to do is just keep the buzz going. Before you know it, they're going to pick it up. They're going to be like a so-called pastor, cult leader, P. Diddy Dow, makes a public threat at a content creator for exposing his adultery. It's going to be all over the place. They're going to use that very same image. And when the people see that, they're going to be like, wow, that's the pastor of Straightway? Mm-hmm. That's him. He said, stay in New York. One day we will meet. So right there, he made a threat on my life and my family to kill them. So P. Diddy Dow made a threat against my whole family. So I want it to be known for the public record of the court. That is of public opinion. <laughs> that P. Diddy Dow threatened my life for speaking the truth. So, there you have it. A man of Yah who got caught in his sin taking another man's wife after Ringo exposed all of his dirt. He decides to take it to social media to make verbal threats to physically harm a man. <laughs> there must be a lot of truth in the things that I'm saying. Yeah. That's right. At Lady P says, whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And ye know no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. I told you already that P. Diddy Dow is going to the lake for his sin of adultery. And what you don't understand is that he's fallen into my trap because when you're on social media and you make comments like this, there are two things that you have to understand. Number one, these are terroristic threats because it's on social media. Number two, it's bait. It's bait because what P. Diddy Dow really want is for me to entertain that energy. I'm too smart and I'm not dumb. See, I wouldn't come on social media to say anything. I'll just come on social media and make the content and play the game and let the people decide what they want to believe because see, the people that are viewing, they're looking at these comments right here and they're saying, wait a minute now, you got a point, Ringo. That pastor's literally threatened your life. He basically said, one day I'm going to see you. One day I'm going to run into you and I'm going to do X, Y, and Z to you. That's what he's saying. In so many words, he says, stay in New York because one of these days I'm going to see you in the street. I'm going to find you. I'm going to see you in the street and I'm going to kill you. That's what he said. So I want the public to know the spirit behind P. Diddy Dow. What I'm doing is exposing the demon that is behind the nature of straightway. It's a cult of murder, a cult of evil. And this is their leader that is speaking on that screen. Stay in New York. One day we will meet. Those are threats. Those are threats, ladies and gentlemen. And see, what P. Diddy Dow don't understand is that he's opening up a can of worms. All I can say is the clock is ticking and the world will see. Repent because the Most High is not playing games with you. You see, he has given you opportunity to repent. 
and you still haven't. The clock is ticking. Time is running out. See, I'm very careful with my words. But trust and believe me, sir, you're not. You just signed up for something that you don't understand. Man, oh man. And when that day shows up, I'm going to make so many videos. So many videos telling the people, didn't I tell you? <laughs> it's a wrap. You stepped over the line. Now the most high is going to deal with you. Your sin is gross. Adultery. You took another man's wife, laid with her, put her in your bed, took another man's daughter and sold her for a hundred K and you still can't repent. <laughs> Have anybody noticed that P. Diddy Dial is growing old on camera? Y'all don't notice that? It's like he's growing old and I'm getting younger. I mean, just look at me. 46. Look at him. <laughs> the man is deteriorating on camera. <laughs> he's literally withering away. <laughs> I'm telling you when you have this kind of spirit see this is the same spirit that Rufus seen now you know what Rufus meant when he said he saw a spirit on Dow it was a spirit of murder evil that was on him a spirit of death Man, I could just see all the videos coming up. So to all the content creators, to all the content creators, I got food for all of y'all. <laughs> Take your screenshot while you can. Take your screenshot. Let's get those videos going. Pastor P. Diddy Dow has made a public threat to take out Ringo TV. On site, military style. That's right. He basically said to stay in New York, which is intimidation. He's using intimidation. <clears throat> He's using intimidation. He's using fair tactics. And he made a threat by saying, one day we will meet so that he can take me out and my family too and children. We got to make sure that we put that in there, too. He's going to take me out, my children, my family. That's what Dow want to do. So now we put that in the algorithm. So now the talk of the town is not only that P. Diddy Dow did Rufus dirty, kicked him out of the ministry. Not only that, he committed adultery with another man's wife and... He threatened to murder Ringo TV and his family. Real talk. That's what he did, fam. Check it out. He says, stay in New York, meaning stay in New York. Don't ever leave because I'm going to take you out. One day I will meet you. I will meet. We will meet. One day we will meet. So basically he's saying is, on that day, he's going to take full opportunity to take me out. So now we have 700 people viewing this live right now. You're not a smart man, Diddy Dow. You're a fool because now we got the world watching. So, guys, make sure you send this video to Twitter. Make sure you send this video to Worldstar. Make sure you send this video to all the Instagram spots. You know, all the Instagram spots that know how to push certain videos here and there and there. That way we can know that a pastor that preaches the Bible made a public threat 
to kill a man and his family because he exposed his sin of adultery. That's what Pastor P. Diddy Dow said in that message that he post on my channel. I never went to his channel. He came to my channel. I don't go to his channel to post comments. I don't go into his live chat. I don't go none of there. I don't do that. If I got something to say, I stay on my platform. But he came to me, which mean he's the aggressor, which mean he is the one doing this, not me. So that being said, my final thoughts. You messed up. Because now the Israelite community, oh, they're going to have a lot to say now. Because now you're making threats. So if you're making threats at me, then I could just imagine all the other content creators that make videos about you. That's your way of solving problems now, making threats. Oh, so you can't come out and talk like a man. Oh, no, you can't do that. You resort to intimidation. <laughs> Fair tactics. No. Come on out and confess your sin of taking another man's wife. Do that. Come on camera and tell us what Bible verse justifies you committing adultery. Come online and tell us. Show us the chapter and verse where it says you could take Another man's wife. Because that's what he did, y'all. Pastor P. Diddy Dow took Eric Gonzalez's wife, made her his own, committed adultery, refused to repent. And no matter how many scriptures you show him, he will never acknowledge it. I got his attention. And think about this. If... I was just talking some bochinche, some nonsense, making no sense, right? Why would he be giving me that much attention? If I was really slandering him and I'm just speaking lies, why would he care? I got people that make videos about me every day. I don't even go to their platforms. I don't even say no. I don't care because there's no truth in it. But the man committed adultery but you know what's interesting about this? Because in the Bible, it talks about how when the Messiah was speaking truth, they wanted to kill him. So I got to be doing something right. <laughs> right? I mean, when you have the pastor of the church, a man of the cloth, who says he's in love with Jesus, and he want to kill men that expose his sin, that says a lot about these guys. Is Pastor P. Diddy Dow really following the Messiah? Of course not. Because he's full of debate, full of murder. I'm exposing who he really is. If a man is truly of Yah, he comes to the light so that his deeds can be reproved, so he can be corrected. P. Diddy Dow don't want that. P. Diddy Dow want to make threats. Stay in New York. One day we will meet. Meet for what? Coffee? <laughs> Come on now. So, what is P. Diddy Dow going to do now? What's his next move? Because now we have a receipt that will be used against him forever. Not a smart man. And I made sure that I made the image high quality so that people can take their screenshots of this because you're going to see it in people videos. They're going to be talking about this one because what they're going to wonder is, man, if Ringo is just making up stories and Ringo don't know what's going on, why would the pastor be wanting to kill him? That's kind of harsh. I mean, he want to take him out. Take him and his family out and children? Women and children? Really? You mean to tell me, say it ain't so. You mean to tell me P. Diddy Dow 
The same guy that's on his platform posting silly videos about, oh, a pastor had somebody come in trying to stab them. That same pastor, that same pastor that posted a video just a while ago talking about how you got to have security in your churches. The same pastor threatened my life and my family. Because if you threaten my life, you also threaten my family too, which means he threatened my children. So now we can publicly say that P. Diddy Dow threatened the lives of my children. It's not a good look at Straightway now. So I want to know, how are they going to defend this? How is anybody at Straightway going to defend this? Come on now. I want to see who at Straightway is going to defend this one and what Bible verse supports all of this. That a man of God resorts to violence <laughs> because he's being exposed. Really? See, what Diddy Dow don't understand is this. Listen carefully. If you're going to do something, do it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Don't hide. Do it. See, the Most High is setting you up for a great fall. And I am so glad that I'm able to publish your words for the algorithm. So to the 700 plus in the building. Oh, we got 120 on the Ringo TV Raw channel. If you're on the Ringo TV Raw channel, you're probably wondering, man, I can't see what's going on. We're also on the Ringo TV reactions channel. Um, Let me see. These evil people want to feed into their negativity. Um, and his eyes always red. Yeah, that's because he's always drunk. But he has a demon in him. That's what's going on. Let me see what the people are saying. Hold on. Um, yeah, but see, this is what happens when, um, when you publish the truth. What I'm doing here is I'm playing along in the game. That's what I'm doing. See, I'm smart. Normally, I would go off. But mm, that's not a good chess move. <laughs> the way you move in a situation like this is you capitalize off of what he did. Because at this moment, the audience is like, This ain't looking good for straightway. You threatening women and children, families? Straightway is threatening to take out a family because of his sin? <laughs> wow. See, he don't understand the power of social media. I do. I know how to use social media. And one thing I know is that P. Diddy Dow threatened my life and my wife and my children because that mean he would take out my whole family. So I just thought the public know that because this shows you the true spirit behind Straightway. That's what this shows. Check out that comment. Isn't that an evil comment coming from a pastor? A man who's supposed to be saving souls. A man who's supposed to be preaching the gospel. Are you, do you understand that? Imagine that. And for all the slow people that are in the building, please stop the nonsense about, are you afraid of this and afraid of that? Please stop. <laughs> because... Y'all don't understand and y'all don't even know me. What I'm doing here is the work of the most high. Nobody fear P. Diddy Dow. He knows that already. 
but he's setting himself up for a great fall. And I'm loving it because I've seen many people cross this line. But the line that he crossed. It's not good. Now, I already know the end. But I'm not permitted to speak it. But I know the end. And it's not good. <laughs> All I can tell you is keep watching. Keep looking. Keep your eyes open. Because someone is deteriorating. Someone has limited time. They know that already. <laughs> Are you shedding tears yet? Hmm. Did you make preparations? Do I got your attention? <laughs> Don't have much time, right? I know. <laughs> it's because of your sin. That's what it's for. Imagine a man of God. <laughs> Stay in New York. One day we will meet. <laughs> wow. Um, we the people says shame on on Dow. He's a disgrace, low life individual. <laughs> now again, think about this. I ain't do no reaction video. I ain't do nothing, but we got boom, 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 one, eight. We literally got almost 900 people in the building with both channels. And they're all witnessing this. Now, what are the people going to say? What is the Israelite community going to say? That mean that when P. Diddy Dow was offering to debate, he was really plotting to kill me. Are y'all now putting it together? That's what he was doing. Hey, I want to debate you in a such and such location. That was him setting up the plot. See, if you're in New York, you understand the streets. You recognize when somebody trying to line you up. If you're in New York and you don't know when people trying to line you, then you slow. Most people in New York, we can we can pick up on that energy. That's why it's very difficult for someone in New York to try to line you because we could recognize the signs so we could pick up on that game right away and not make that move. You get what I'm saying? So this is why you got to be careful because men will line you up, set you up and have someone else take you out. And then everybody just go home, act like they don't know what happened. Happens all the time. All right. Um, okay. So that being said, uh, I'm going to go take care of some business and then we're going to come back to talk about P. Diddy Dowell. But I thought that I share this bit of information with you because I'm sure you would want to know that. Right. So we're going to continue our. Crusade. On warning the people of the cult leader, P. Diddy Dow, as he commits adultery and make threats to kill men, women, and children that expose his sins. This is a bad, bad day for him, bro. Man, rather than Diddy Dow focus on preaching the gospel, 
he does this in my comment section. Mm hmm. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. And let me also do this for the record, because I got to make sure that the public record is on point. Let me make sure. Let me see. It's one of these. Hold on a second. Let me do this. Okay, this one. Yeah, let me use this one. Because what I want to do is I want to make sure that the record is clear for the public that he was in fact on my video. So let me do this. As you can see, reprobate Pastor P. Diddy Dow said, even if I sinned, it's none of your business, right? Watch this. Look at the comment right there. You see that? Stay in New York. One day we will meet. So it was under that video where the threat came in. And that's just in case he remove it, because I'm not removing it. I'm keeping it right there as a public record for the world to know. That way, the algorithm could pick up on it and the blogs will begin to take, take forth. Because remember, I said that I'm taking down the ministry. Like nobody's going to straightway. Straightway is going to be investigated by the feds. Straightway is going to be audited by the government. Because number one, if, if you got women, young girls being uh, sold and men are making hundreds of thousands of dollars on a dowry. Are these men paying taxes? That's a lot of money to, to sell a, a young woman. I mean, do the government know about this? Do the government know that young virgin girls are being sold for top dollars? I mean, are, are they paying taxes on these um, these purchases of these, these wives. I mean, if they're not a 501 C three church, right. Then they should be paying taxes. Right. So think about how many virgins are being auctioned off into marriages and men are collecting thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in dowry payments. I can guarantee you nobody's paying no taxes. But these guys are building mega mansions. We're going to be doing that video as well, where P. Diddy Dow is using the money for these dowries to build mega mansions. While the other people at Straightway are living in tents and in trailers. It's really a sad situation at the cult. But we're going to keep this truth going. We don't concern ourselves with the threats. But we will make the news public for the world to hear and for the world to see so they can understand the true spirit behind Straightway, that it is not a ministry of integrity. It is a ministry of evil. And this is why they got rid of Brother Rufus, because they saw the potential of what he could do. This is why they did all the dirt they did to other people because they have evil intentions at all times. Serious. So that being said, guys, oh, let me read out those, those cash apps. Let me read out those cash apps. I didn't get them the last time. Okay, let's see what we got. All right. One brother said no need for no shout outs. Okay, cool. Respect. All right. Um, let me see. Shout out to Victor, Victor for the support. Ginger, shout out to Ginger, revolutionary loss. Randy, shout out to Randy, Rallo. Um, Forever Studios. Marcus, appreciate you. Um, Marcus, 
Is that, wait, let me see. Is that Nasir? I'm hoping I pronounce your name properly. If I didn't, my apologies. But um, I think it's Nazir, right? Um, salute to you for the support. Um, Diane. Diane. Why did you block Joey? Yeah, I got to stop doing this, mods. Seriously. Why is, um, what is going on here? Joey just got blocked. And who else? Let me see. Um, some Critchette. I don't really care for that person. That person's a troll. At Sean, you blocked Joey. Let me do this real quick. I'm going to make an announcement, right? I'm going to make an announcement. Y'all better listen to me very carefully. Listen very carefully to all the moderators. The next time any moderator blocks somebody, right, that don't need to be blocked, I'm taking your wrench forever. Do you understand me? I am tired of seeing this type of nonsense go down where you're blocking somebody and you block innocent people that didn't do anything because you're not paying attention. You understand? It's one thing to block a troll. But you're blocking people that didn't do anything wrong. And then I have to stop what I'm doing to address it. So I am making this very clear. Moving forward. If you are moderating a chat room. You need to read. You need to read carefully and listen and understand your decision. You need to know if a person is talking about me from when a person is just posting a comment. Because sometimes y'all be just blocking people for no reason. They just said something like, like people are not allowed to disagree. People are not allowed to have an opinion. It's one thing if people are being disrespectful, saying things that are out of pocket, but when you're just blocking innocent people that didn't do anything wrong, that's a problem. So moving forward, if I catch any moderator blocking people that didn't do anything, you will notice your wrench is no longer there and you will never get it again. Do you understand? Because I cannot deal with this type of nonsense. I just made it very clear that Joey didn't do anything. He didn't do nothing wrong. You understand? I'm tired of seeing that type of nonsense. When you blocking people, block the person who is with doing the offense. Don't block somebody that didn't do anything wrong because you're just deleting their comments. You literally delete all of their comments. So if that person got blocked, you just deleted all of their comments. So now, even if you unblock them, you deleted all their comments. I'm telling you, like I said, moving forward, I'm just letting everybody know. And, it, and when all the other moderators are here, I'm going to let them know, too. Moving forward, somebody get blocked <laughs> and they're not supposed to get blocked. I'm taking the wrenches. That's all it is. No hard feelings. I'm just doing what I got to do. Because when you're a moderator, you have power to execute judgment. You got to know how to use that judgment. Read in the comments, looking at what the person's saying, calculating. Let me scroll up and see their other comments. Oh, they're not talking about nothing madness. No, they're not doing nothing. 
They're just responding. But when you see a troll obviously doing some troll-ish, okay, that person, you get up out of here. Do you understand? <laughs> and another bit of advice is when the, when the troll is in the chat and the chat is moving, don't try to just press on their name. Scroll the chat so the chat don't move. So you can press the right button. Because if you're just letting the chat move like this, it's going to literally, you're going to end up pressing the, the wrong person and end up taking them out. That's what you're going to end up doing. You know? So that's about that. Let me just get back over here. Hold on a second. Oh, boy. Let me see what's going on here. All right. All right. So I didn't even give, get everybody yet. Hold on a second. I didn't shout everybody out. I got distracted. And ain't no telling how many other people got blocked. That's the thing that's pissing me off. Ain't no telling how many other people are blocked. I got people that come to me on Instagram every other day saying, yo, fam, I'm blocked. Could you unblock me? And I'm like, who blocked you? What's going on? People are getting blocked for no reason. Can't be doing that because you messing up business. You messing up business. You blocking people. Matter of fact, you blocking supporters. You know? <sighs> Boy. Okay, so let me see. I got Marcus. I believe I, I don't know if I shouted out Marcus, but shout out to Marcus. Shout out to Tanea. Um, Tanea. Shout out to Tanea. Um, shout out to Ray. Salute to Ray for that support, fam. Appreciate you. Ray. Salute to Ray. Um, let me see. Is this, let me see. Yaden, I believe the name is Yaden. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name properly, but appreciate the support, brother. And shout out to Sean, Sean the Navigator. You know what I mean? Appreciate the support. Um, again, bro, we can't be blocking the supporters, man. We can't be doing that. We got to look at what we're doing, fam. It's very important. Very important. Ain't no... Listen. I got people that are coming to me. And they're like, look, I'm blocked. Could you unblock me? I never did nothing wrong. I don't even know if they did something wrong. So I end up unblocking them. Because I don't know if they did something wrong. They're saying, look, I didn't do nothing wrong. One of your moderators blocked me. And I'm like... Had one person the other day. This person is a supporter of the show. Supporter. They come to me. They're just like, yo, I'm blocked. I'm like, what did you do? Look, I ain't do nothing. He was like, look, man, seriously, I ain't do anything. If I did, fam, I'll let you know. But I can't even comment. I'm like, I go check. They block. <laughs> we got to look at what we're doing. If I'm a moderator, I know how to identify a troll because they're going to say something dumb. And then what I do is I scroll up to look at their previous comments. That's how you judge people. You scroll up. You look at their previous comments. You're like, wait a minute. This person ain't adding nothing to the chat. This, per this person is trolling. And then you pack them up. You don't time them out. You just get rid of them. You know? Um, let me see. 
you said somebody named Top Notch. If somebody is trolling, then that person you get rid of. If somebody, listen, if somebody is um, in the chat room, number one, you know the rules. If somebody is disrespecting a moderator, that person you pack up and get out of here because nobody should be disrespected moderators. If a person is posting insults at the host or moderators, you pack that person up. If somebody is making threats, you pack that person up. If someone is uh, posting profanity, you give them a warning. Time them out. And don't time them out for 20,000 seconds. You know what I mean? You time them out at a reasonable time. You know, two minutes, five minutes, the most. Or, you know, I don't know all the, the technical stuff with all of that stuff. Just use discretion. But if everybody's just getting blocked just for having an opinion, we won't have a show. You get what I'm saying? So we don't want to have it where if a person disagrees with something, okay, let's block them. That's not how you do it. You know? Only disrespect. If, if somebody come in cursing me out, making threats, saying something crazy. Yeah, you pack that person up. But if somebody come in and be like, I don't agree with you. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says this. I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of God you're serving or whatever the case is. That's their opinion. You let them rock. You get what I'm saying? That way we can have the conversation. That way if I'm looking at the chat and I see their comments, I could be like, all right, let me, let me have a conversation with this person. I've had conversations with trolls and... I thought they were a troll, but as I was having the conversation, come to find out they were not a troll. They just didn't understand. You understand? So it is what it is. Sometimes people can say things in the chat and you just want to block them real fast. But if we do that every single time, nobody's going to want to comment. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be better with this little by little because normally we just want to pack people up. We got to we got to give people the opportunities to share their opinions. You know what I mean? We have to give them that opportunity. So what I'm going to try to do is do another update. We, I think we did this one time. I'm going to give another update for all moderators on what to look out for so that it's clear, it's in writing. That way you don't have to second guess anything. That way there's a, there's a plan. We know what to do next because we need to make sure that people can voice their thoughts. We don't want to be like P. Diddy Dow. He closes his comment section so nobody could comment. Notice, he comes to my platform to post threats. I didn't delete his comment. I left it there for the world to see. What's the point of me deleting it? I want the people to see it. You get what I'm saying? But he turns off his comments because he's a coward. That's what cowards do. They don't want people to see anything. They want to act like it never existed. No, I want people to know. I want people to see his comments so they can say, wait a minute, hold up now. You telling the man to stay in New York one day you will meet? You making threats, bro? Like, really? You really going there? <laughs> okay. All right. So that's about that. Um, We're going to be back later on. I'm going to go take care of some things and then we're going to go live again. We're going to talk about the million dollar mansion that P. Diddy Dowell is putting together for him and all his wives um, and where the money in the church is going. And um, is he going to repent of his sins? We're going to also talk about another video where P. Diddy Dowell got the men in Goshen at the boot camp, basically training, not really training. He's trying to wean out the men that don't belong at straightway. That's what is really going on. It's a, it's a form of training that they're doing to break their spirits, humiliating them, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. I think it's like hazing or whatever the case is. And it's to psychologically control their minds to do their master's bidding. Nowhere in the Bible do you see stuff like this, but this is what's going on at Straightway. That's right. We're going to talk about that because really they're training their men for military operations. We don't know what kind of... Um, terroristic activity they're involved in because all these guys do is talk about guns and what they're going to do and all this other stuff. It's really crazy stuff. I'm just saying we've seen this thing happen uh, with the Jim Jones situation. We've seen this with many other cults and um, 
Ain't no telling what can go down, fam. I think that if the feds and and so and so visited straightway, I think it would be an all out war. That's right. They would have to call in the military. Because I believe that those guys at straightway would literally die for P. Diddy Dow. I really believe that. I think it's at that level where they would literally die for their pastor. Sick stuff is going on over there. Our job is just to expose the devil and pretty much um, make people be aware of it. So if you're a family, a brother that probably was intrigued by straightway, don't go over there. You know what I'm saying? You're risking your life and your family, especially your wives and your daughters. You're risking their lives. Don't do that. I mean, check out what's what's going on with me. P. Diddy Dow, the lovely pastor with four to five wives, says, stay in New York. That's intimidation. One day we will meet. Meet for what? So that he can kill me and my family. That's basically what he said. <laughs> I'm not making this up. This is what's going on. You know? So we're going to get up on out of here, guys. Um, how can you be a member? Well, I don't think I set up memberships on the Ringo TV Raw channel. You would have to become a member on the um, Reactions channel. I have to set it up for the Ringo TV Raw. I never, I never set it up on the Raw channel, only the Reactions channel, Ringo TV Reactions. That particular channel is where you can, they have the little thing that says join. You click that button. But for this channel on the Ringo TV Raw channel, I haven't set it up yet. You know? Um, yeah, he sold um, Eric Gonzalez's daughter for $100,000 to another man at Straightway to be a wife. Really sick stuff. You know? I've seen some very disturbing videos where he talked about killing women. Very, very disturbing stuff. We got the tapes. I actually got it from somebody else's channel where it's on somebody else's YouTube channel where uh, Dow talked about killing women. Mm-hmm. Really sick man. But it's interesting how all of this is coming out. You don't notice that? Like, like it's like he always been like this, but it's like now we're all seeing it. This is crazy, right? One day, you thinking this guy is a man of God. Next day, it's crazy, man. It's really wild. You see, there go a troll right there. Let's see if a moderator can pick it up. I'm just going to watch and see. Because it's very easy for me to spot them. It's very easy. I want to see how, how a mod detect that. Y'all see the, the, the troll in, in the comments? And you have to ask yourself the question. When you see these trolls, right, you have to ask yourself, like, why are they watching me? <laughs> now the mods are not there, fam, when you need them. <laughs> it's crazy. This is crazy, man. Okay, so that's about it. We're going to get up on out of here. You see how easy it is for me to identify the trolls? I mean, the guy comes in, he says, hey, look at this guy here. He's a homosexual. Like, how do you know if I'm a homosexual? <laughs> I mean, it's interesting how you guys know what homosexuals are. <laughs> like, how do you just look at a guy and just be like, yeah, he's a homosexual? Takes one to know one. Why are y'all so attracted to men? And why are y'all watching me like that? <laughs> Shouldn't y'all be watching women? Y'all watching me? <laughs> y'all watching my hair? Like, I, I don't understand you guys. <laughs> y'all been watching me for a long time, man. This is kind of sick. Making me com Y'all making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Got grown men watching my hair. 
grown men looking at me and, and lusting. <laughs> and these guys have wives. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. So, um, we're going to get up on out of here, man. Uh, let me see. <laughs> so that's about it, y'all. We're going to be back later on with more content. Um, y'all take care. We'll be back with another video. I think I got about one, two, three. We got, I think, three more streams I got to do. About three more streams. Yeah. Three more streams I got to do for the day. I think three or four. I don't know. I got to double check. But y'all take care. Did I shout everybody out? Let me hold on. Let me see. I don't know if I shouted everybody out. Hold on a second. Um, let me see. I got shouted out Yaden, Sean, Tanea. Okay. Um, shout out to Jacqueline. Appreciate that. Appreciate your support. Jacqueline. Appreciate your support. Sponsoring the show. Appreciate you for sponsoring the show. Um, next video, we're going to be dealing with P. Diddy's, P. Diddy Dow's Mega Mansion. Yes, that's right. P. Diddy Dow's Mega Mansion. He's building a mega mansion, a 13,000 square foot mansion for himself and his wives, while the other straightway people have to piss in a pot and live inside a trailer. <laughs> That's right. We got inside men at Straightway that uh, pretty much report to us. And um, you know what I mean? They let us know what's going on and whatnot. So, um, I mean, this is real easy work. You know, with all that security, all that talk, I mean, we got eyes on the ground. <laughs> this is funny fam yo we got eyes on the ground fam i kid you not <laughs> while pastor talking all this stuff about security on his latest stream fam you don't even know what's going on bro <laughs> oh man yo this is sad man Really, really sad. Um, let me see. There's a there's there's a few people at Straightway. You know what I'm saying? You know? You have to understand, man. People already know that P. Diddy Dow is corrupted. So, you know, not everybody at Straightway rock with him like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You know? So we're going to talk about that, um, the house, you know, I'm going to talk about that big old house, fam. That's a big house, fam. I ain't going to hold you. I'm like, man, this is wild, bro. They got the roof done. There's a couple of things in the front of the house. They got to fix the front of the house, but the majority of the house, the outer, the outward exterior of the house is pretty much put together. They just got to get the front entrance of the house situated. But this is literally one, two, three, four, five. I would say this is about six large houses in one. Like, it's like six houses combined together. Like, it's like, it's put together. Whoever did the plans, um, they did it in a way where it's like, they can, the way the, way the house look, <clears throat> it looked like it's set up in a way where 
the wives or whatever the case is are separated, meaning they could be on another side of the house somewhere where they don't got to be around the other person. That's how it looks to me. I'm looking at the plans. I'm looking at the uh, the design, but I'm trying to figure this out. He got this going here, but the saints are living in trailers. I don't get it. <laughs> this is wild. You know? But uh, yeah, man. I don't know, man. So, hey. If there's anybody else at Straightway that want to send me more material, you know what I'm saying? Please send that info to my uh, my Instagram at Ringo TV Raw. Really appreciate that. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, don't make that man uh, have you, like, under his control and whatnot. This is America. Always remember that. All right? <laughs> yeah, I got the info of the house. It's in Tennessee. <clears throat> it's in Tennessee. Two story. Two story um mansion. Got a lot of windows. A heck of a lot of windows. You know? It got a lot of windows. Um trying to see i mean because i got a certain angle of the house maybe there's a garage on the opposite side but the angle that i got um but then again i don't know i gotta see how it is it would make no sense to build a house that large and you don't got a place where you can put your your vehicles so it's probably on another side of the house or maybe they keep them outside i don't know but the angle of the house that I got, um, I don't see no garage or anything like that. It's probably on the other side. I'm assuming that's the front of the house. I'll, I'll share all of that in my next video. But if this is where the money is going, then this is not a good look. Because that means that the people at Straightway is living like peasants while he's living like a king. And it kind of go back into the situation where the, the pulpit preachers, the prosperity gospel preachers, they're all living in the best houses. And I'm seeing the same thing happen at Straightway. The Straightway leader is living in the big mansion. Everybody else is living like slums. That's crazy. Um, you're in you're into polygyny and you're hailing Satan. That makes sense. I mean, let's have the conversation. So you're hailing Satan and you're in my live chat. <laughs> okay. What what exactly brings you here? Since you're hailing the devil. What are you getting out of that? I mean, shouldn't you want to be where devils are? <laughs> Makes no sense to be over here hailing the devil. If you're into polygyny, that's cool. I don't care. But why are you here if you're hailing the devil? How long have you been serving the devil? Let's let's have a conversation. I never talked to a devil worshiper. <laughs> I guess I can interview you for a little bit. So tell us a little bit about yourself. So how how long have you been serving the devil? And um, is it true that you can make a deal to, to prosper? I want to know. You know. The movie Emperor, you said you serve the devil. Is it true that um, People can sell their soul for fortune and fame. I mean, being that you serve um, the devil. Um, let me see, because I want to watch another panel host like yourself speak on polygyny issues. 
The topic is not about polygyny issues. So you, you're in the wrong topic. Um, I, I respect the fact that you worship the devil. If that's what you want to do, then, you know, to each his own. You know what I mean? Respectfully. But we don't do that. Like, I don't do that. But if that's what you choose to do, I mean, I understand you came here to do your normal routine, you know, typical trolling and all that other stuff. But um, respectfully speaking, like, you know, I won't discriminate. I mean, if that's what you choose to, to worship the devil, then, hey, it is what it is. But um, we don't do that. But the topic is not about polygyny. The topic is about P. Diddy Dowell. Um, he threatened to kill me. So that's pretty much what the topic is about. I mean, you control. Just don't, um, you know, cross the lines with disrespect and stuff like that. If you do that, then I have to pack you up. But um, if you want to stay in troll, you know, talk about you're worshiping, worshiping the devil or, you know, you practice polygyny. I could really care less about all of that. Right. Trying to be a little tolerant about certain people because normally we just pack people up. But, um, you know, we give you your opportunity to share your opinions and whatnot. It is what it is, you know. Um, you said it takes a troll that's into polygyny. You're into polygamy to no one like yourself. But you don't know me, sir. So that's irrelevant. I mean, you remember, you you worship the devil, remember? I don't. So your form of polygyny is different from mine. <laughs> because the devil practiced polygyny different. So you don't practice polygyny based on the Bible because that would contradict your belief system. <laughs> Logically speaking, like, look, sir, um, logically speaking, if you serve the devil, right, if you worship Lucifer, Satan, there is no way you could be practicing polygyny, right, based on the Bible. Because if you're doing it according to the Bible, then it would have to be holy. <laughs> right? So technically and logically speaking, there is no possible way we're doing the same thing. Anyway, guys, enough entertaining the trolls. I'll catch you all later on another stream. Um, appreciate everybody stopping by. And that's about that. So y'all take care. Peace and blessings to the mods in the chat. We're going to get up on out of here. See, do you see how easy that was, guys? Because remember, Lucifer would be casting himself out if he did anything righteous he would be casting himself out. So there's no way a person who follows the devil could be practicing polygyny based on the Bible. So that's how you know. You got to know how to combat the words of trolls, the words that is negative and contrary to the truth. So y'all take care. We'll be back with another one. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Ringo TV Reactions. It is what it is, fam. It's crazy in these streets. <laughs> So we out of here, y'all. Y'all take care. Peace and blessings to the mods in the chat on the Ringo TV Raw channel. We're going to sign out there first. Y'all have a blessed afternoon. It is what it is. Shout out to everybody in the building over there. So, hey, I'm signing out. So y'all take care on the Ringo TV Raw channel. Let's sign out over there real fast. We out. Okay. All right. So we signed out on the Ringo TV. Oh, Ringo TV Raw channel. <laughs> I'm saying... I'm saying Ringo TV reactions. I think that's what I said, Ringo TV reactions. But um, let me see. Um, did I sign out? Oh, yeah, I did. The chat is just still moving. Let me make sure. Yeah, I signed out. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, da, 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 da. <sighs> let me see. Sir, you're wasting your time. We already answered your question about polygyny. You're in the wrong place. Remember, you follow Satan. <laughs> so you cannot call me a fellow anything because the Bible says to have no fellowship with darkness. 
That's what it says. It says, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. So we cannot be fellow polygynists. <laughs> Respectfully. So I suggest you find a satanic channel and go over there and ask them these questions. You're in the wrong place. <laughs> right? So, hey, y'all take care. And, um, you know, it is what it is. I'm out. Peace and blessings to the mods in the chat. You have a blessed afternoon. We'll be back later with more content. We out. Ringo TV Reactions. Peace. If you like our content, consider supporting via Cash App at dollar sign Ringo TV Raw. Become a patron on Patreon.com for exclusive video content not shown on YouTube. You could also support through PayPal at paypal.me slash Ringo TV Raw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new content. Follow me on Instagram at Ringo TV Raw. This is Ringo TV Reactions. The only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth 100% raw and uncut. I'm out. Peace.